physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. <laughs> Brad Haddock, physical therapist. Together, we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So how do I stretch my hamstrings and glutes? So we're talking about gluteus maximus. Nah, that big, minimus, that big one. And medius. Oh, yes. So Brad's going to show you. We're going to start in a supine or laying on your back. Right. Lying on your back. And we'll then progress from there. So say no more, Bob. All right. You're going to move? I'm going to get all the way. All right. Here we go. Oh, why I always you, like why this. Why don't you do glutes first? When I get to lay down. Well, we'll use this a little bit later. Now, your glutes can get bound down when you sit a lot. And yes. so if you have trouble squatting, mm -hmm. like your hips don't let you go any further, yep. it's something you may want to consider. So we're going to do a little flexion. Yep. So yeah, get that knee up here, grab here, under here if you can, and pull and let that stretch and breathe. Really important that yes. you breathe and relax while you do this. Because uh, you'd probably die if you stopped breathing. Well, that's a good <laughs> point, Bob. There's always that important. And then, yeah, it's an oh. external rotator, yep. the muscle, so it's good to take it into internal rotation, the hip, which is like that, right? Yeah. And that is a little bit challenging. Yeah, right. Uh, but even going across adduction, I think, yeah. really helps. Yeah, if, I just like to do it because it's right there. It doesn't take much, right. and uh, it gets that pure formus. Um, you know, yeah, and it, you're going to want to do both sides. Yep. Yeah. You know, if you need a strap... A, you can use a towel. And you might, because there's people that have trouble with yep. this. Yeah, especially you know, if you're in a... It's amazing. Some people's arms aren't as long. Right. Or their trunks are longer, right. the proportion of the body. I've had a number of people that do have challenging... Uh, now, you can also that. put your hands through the loops if you uh, have trouble with arthritis. Yeah. Th this is a really good deal. Yeah. It, it just makes it easier, even if you don't have arthritis. For me, I found it. And there, are these loops. All right. Are How about Brad cheap. hamstring without a strap? Ah, yes. Let's do this. So I'm going to do this one. Get the hip right here at 90 degrees. In other words, straight up and down with that line right there. It's Grab under femur. here. I like to do this just so it's a little easier to lock in. You can see this nicely because he's got the stripe on his pants. And when he pulls up like oh. this, that's when you feel the pull, don't you, Brad? Yep, absolutely. And relax. So it's a little bit active, assist. You know, I mean, active. Yeah. Now you can just go up and hold, and relax, hold and relax. Or if you want to just hold it for 15 to 30 seconds, uh, it's yeah. a little more work that way, but it, it's a good option. All right, uh, Brad. Let's go on to the next one. Um, this is probably, I think, the best one. And you're going to do contract, relax. With a strap, yep. with a belt, with a sheet, something of that manner. But the strap works by far the easiest. Yeah, for sure. Um, so he hooks it around his foot. You know, I think a, a belt is the next good one. The problem sure. is it's hard to hold on to. But uh, so I'm going to keep the knee straight. If you bend the knee, you're, you're going to take the hamstring out of the equation, keep the knee straight. And then we're going to pull up, and I can feel this nice stretch right here, right now. But show them the twist, Brad. I mean, not the twist, but <laughs> the difference where you actually do contract, relax. Yeah. Okay. So what we're, the hamstrings are responsible in this position. They'll pull the leg this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push down this way with my foot, keeping my knees straight. Yeah, if he wasn't holding the leg, it would actually push down yeah. like that. So I'm going to hold it with the strap, and this is where it's nice, really nice to have the loop because yep. it's just a little easier. And I'm going to push down, and I'm going to hold. So I'm doing an isometric for six to eight seconds, and then I'm going to relax, and then I'm going to pull up a little bit more, hold that stretch. And you'll often find that you do gain more motion then. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm this gonna is a kind of a magic stretch. Push and hold. <laughs> And I usually just do it three repetitions. Now, both of these stretches, the glute stretch and the hamstring stretch, you don't need to do if you if they're not tight or if they're not giving you trouble. Right. I would still stretch them a little bit for maintenance. Sure. You don't have to do it, be real aggressive like this. Unless you like to, it, it feels good, actually. And you're going to do uh, both sides. Now, yes. Brad, how about if I show mobilization of the hamstring and the glutes? 
So you're going to mobilize? Yep, I'm going to mobilize. Say no more, Bob. I'm going to mobilize. So mo when you mobilize, you're getting deep down into the tissue. And usually this is uh, – I'm going to actually use a softball here. This is going to probably be too aggressive if you're on a regular chair. You could use a hardball. <laughs> it's a little smaller uh -huh. diameter. So this one's larger. But um, I'm going to find the tender spot on my hamstring. And then I can work it back and forth like that. But the big key to this is you actually can do what we call flossing while you do the, the hamstring. So this is, I can really feel this working now. So I'll demonstrate from this side. So it's just there and, oh, I'll we'll go just, to this side. Oh, there you go, yeah. You yeah. want to find the tender spot and you want to work on it until you see a change. Hopefully the pain reduces. Right. So. I've got tennis balls in here, and, you know, there's quite a difference in aggressiveness. I mean, you could start with a tennis ball and work your way up to a harder ball, a cross ball, softball. And Brad and I have found that you can go with the fibers, and you can also go against the fibers. Sure. So the fibers of the, of the hamstring run straight down. Yep. And now I'm working across them, kind of massaging it that way, and also doing a little bit of flossing. Yep. I'm just actually rolling right over the top. Well, you'll see when, when you start to fiddle around with this, you'll you'll know when, uh, when you get that muscle Now you can loose. also do the glutes, and again, they can get bound down if you sit a lot. Now, uh, softball is too much almost here, Brad. But. Well, that, that's quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> but same thing, I'm working my way on to the buttock, uh. and I'm actually, I can bring my leg up and turn it in, turn it out, all these sorts of things to make it work. So, you know, like tennis ball or a little lacrosse ball, they're a little smaller. Right. And that's an option. And you can do it, I think, for the glute actually lying down on your back, you can get a little more aggressive Yes, with you it. can. Um, yes. Not on a bed, though. It's going to, something like this anyways. It's right. Gonna squish into the bed. It won't be effective. How about uh, you grab the booyah stick, Brad? Booyah. And I'll grab a massage gun. I guess you are too, right? Oh, absolutely. I'm not going to let you have all the fun. <laughs> So these work great in, in trying to my, – my hamstrings have been a little tender lately because I've been biking a lot. Sure. Indoor biking. And um, this feels – I do this every morning before I bike, actually. Sure. And I just work the hamstrings. I go across the fibers. Sure. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that I, I work on the butt or the glutes. I do. I just don't have a problem with it. You do? I work. Oh, well, you have your SI. Yeah, but I, I, I don't. You don't stop there. Huh? No, you know. So I, I'm working here. I'll, I'll get by the SI joint, but I'll definitely work in that piriformis area. So you and, can. Uh, oh yeah. Ooh, wow. Oh yeah. I'm yes. telling you, this is. That does it almost feels better. Well, one thing I really like is I, I put this the soft head that on um, the air head. For yeah, so I use like the aggressive head. This is a bullet head. Yeah, well, that's too much for me. Yeah, that soft head. Yeah, if you're there. all man Ooh. all the time, you yeah. can use one of these. Yeah. But I, I'm, you, yeah. I'm not that that manly. I'm telling you. But see, the SI is bony. Right. And if you can, yeah, that would be you too want to much. Size your bone. Yeah, that, I'm right. Gotta, I'm right in, in the meaty part. Yeah. Of the muscle. Oh, that one's sore too. Well, you got to be careful, Bob. Got it. Yeah. Well, Th these are the things you discover when you do these videos. <laughs> so. What else are we going to talk about? That's here, Bob? it, Brad. That's what about a... this? Oh yeah, you could show that. I yeah. Mean, this is one of those things. While you you're... could take a PVC pipe or yeah. something like that, yeah. you can but roll on. They make actually your yeah. hand rollers you can buy. Yeah, massage sticks. You're in my way, I think. Oh. Sure. So, you know, you can, if you have this handy while you're, after you're stretching, it needs to be smooth and something that you can roll right. over your, your ham, your hamstrings and nice, and that'll give a uh, massage. Do, 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 down there. I don't think you could really use it on your buttock, could you? No. The glutes? I mean, you kind of could, but it, it a little you, awkward. you can get there. It's, it's not real effective. Yeah. It's challenging. You could use a foam roller on all those two. Oh, right. All those areas. Yep, on yep. the floor. Whatever, a knobby whatever one or a straight one. But yep. there we go. Those are some ideas. I hope you can take them and run with them. Yes, run, <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. There's all a right. new book I've heard about, Anatomy of Running. Have you heard of that one? I might have. Oh. 
Well, we'll talk we'll about talk it another about time. It. <laughs>